is wood that I have salvaged out of my own yard when we replaced our fence. That's why I like using this wood because it keeps it out of the landfill and it's worn and weathered and kind of distressed. I'm going to take oyster shells and form the palm fronds of the palm tree. It has been a little while since I've made one of these and I thought I would go ahead and, and make two today in this video. So this is wood that I have salvaged from a fence board and it's otherwise known as a fence picket. It's a board that I've salvaged out of my own yard when we replaced our fence. I've sanded it and cleaned it really well. It's nice and dry. It's very worn. That's why I like using this wood because it keeps it out of the landfill and it's worn and weathered and kind of distressed. So I'm going to take oyster shells and form the palm fronds of the palm tree. And I like working with flatter shells first as the base. Um, and these are shells that I collect on the beach. I live on the beach and I don't like that one. But I'm just going to add these until I'm happy. So, the, you know, just the size of the shell just depends on how big your board is. And that, that might work. That might work right there. Normally, I don't use a glue gun in this project, but I'm going to do it. Maybe that one could hang off a little bit. Isn't you can use clear Aline's tacky glue. You can use E6000. You can use a glue gun. You can use Gorilla Glue, and you can also use resin if you have some in a pot that's a little bit tackied up like this one but I'm not going to do that so you can use a combination of a lot of different things so I think what I'm going to do um, and you could use Mod Podge too I guess I've never tried Mod Podge but I'm going to do a combination of um, hot glue and then Aline's tacky glue and I don't think this is hot enough. This hot glue really, it does work. So while my heat gun is heating up, I want to show you all my shell bucket. These are all the oyster shell, well, some of the oyster shells, not all, that I collect. And I've already picked through a lot of these because I've used the larger ones for my Christmas ornaments. And so these are the ones that are left over. And oh, that's a good one for a palm fun. So I'm going to pick through these and just kind of, I like the flat ones, the ones that aren't like, um, I don't know, chunky. This would be a good one though because it's nice and curved. So these are ones that have just been worn down over a very long period of time. Oh, a little angel. Must have made that one a while back. That's cute. Um, all right, so this should get us started. should get us started. I've already glued the wood down. So the wood is our trunk. And now my heat gun should be hot. Oh yeah. And so I'm being very generous with the hot glue gun.
Okay, and I'm going to do the base to this one. I'm going to add another layer of shells in just a minute. So this is a nice curvy one. I'll make this one too. It's curvy. I like that and these have been cleaned these aren't nasty slimy sandy from the beach these have been cleaned I've got a lot of looks like silly string from the um, hot glue so I will take a little, um, you can use a paintbrush too, that just kind of brushes all the stuff off. All right, so now these little ones, smaller ones, I'm going to just kind of layer them on top of the existing fronds and just kind of build up our tree a little bit. Well, you could even do that too. I'll do that with the next layer. Okay, so let's add something here. I'm gonna add that one there. That's a good little gap filler. I'm going to add a little one there. Might need to find one. What about this one? Now I need to add a few more here. Add that one here. just keep adding until you're happy it does kind of look like a flower Isn't that cute? I feel like I need one right here. Maybe just like that. I know it's a little bit big, but I like that. 
I don't know if I want a little one down here in that gap. That's almost too big. Like, like that maybe. Nah. Nah. All right, so need something right there, but I need to add to this one. That's too big. More like that. There's no right way or wrong way. I will say that. It is up to you how you want to do this. Kind of like that. I think I might like this one right here. No, this one's too chunky. I don't like that one there, but maybe that one here. And then I want one, what about this one here underneath? Now that actually works out right there. So, let's do that one here. About, no. All right, I need something on this trunk. That's too big. I need a skinny one. I need a skinny one. That one? All right, I'm going to use that one. Right there. that okay and now I'm gonna add a little cat's eye shell in the middle see what I got in the stash Just kind of in the middle. Maybe right there. This one's nice too. No. I think this one. All right, let's see if we can get this attached on there. One thing I hate about working with hot glue guns is all these little strings. They just are awful. That's it. All you need to do. 
all you need to do. Put a hanger on the back. Nice little palm trees. I think this is cute. So I don't know if I'm going to give these as gifts. I probably will. I don't know if I want to sell these at a show. But if I do, I'll let you know how it goes. This is a, just a fun little, you know, fun little craft with your shells. And be a neat way to um, display, maybe display the shells that you've gathered on your vacation. That'd be fun. So, hope I taught you something new. Thanks for watching. Bye, friends.